I could eat that all day. I mean, obviously, I shouldn't, but. Yum. Hello, everybody. I'm Lori. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. Let's open up a snack crate together. Oh my gosh. First snack crate of 2021. Where is it going to be from? I don't know because that's the whole point of the snack crate. <laughs> um, if you don't know what snack crate is, snack crate is a, um, a, a, it's a box of snacks from somewhere in the world and you don't know where they're going to be from until they arrive at your door in this cute little box. So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to use my little tweezers here. Okay. 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 Ooh, I'm so excited. Oh, is that, what does that say? Japan. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Hold on. My niece Mia is going to freak. I dropped off uh, her Christmas present uh, last week. I like put their presents on their door and then I stood back with my mask and I watched them open them. Uh, but we started talking about Japan. I don't remember why, but we started talking about Japan and I was telling her about uh, the snack crate things and these videos that I make and how, where did I have, oh, I had just said snacks from India. That was my last snack crate video. And she was like, if you get snacks from Japan, you have to save me some. Well, here we are, Mia. <laughs> so, um, these are gonna be snacks from Japan. Oh, oh. I can't do paper, like I don't do paper products very well, like cardboard, paper. Ooh, pulling that paper out was rough. Oh. Okay, I don't wanna look, okay, I don't wanna look inside here because it shows like what the snacks are, but I think I forgot to read in the last video, they have some facts, fun facts. Okay, let's find out some J Japanese fun facts. Sake, a Japanese rice wine, can be served either warm, chilled, or at room temperature. You know what? I, I, I knew that. I knew that. Um, Japan is home to 110 active volcanoes, of which 47 are closely monitored by scientists every day. That's cool. Um, even though Japan was established in 539 AD, its history can be traced back to almost 35,000 BCE. Okay, so that, I mean, if you know what that means, that's probably pretty wild. Um, Japan is the last country in the world to have an active emperor. The role is mostly symbolic these days, however, they are still a big part of Japanese tradition. That's super cool. Um, so emperors, it's, it's, it's still a thing. That's so cool. Okay. In Japan, slurping your noodles is a sign of appreciation and delight. So when eating soba, udon, or ramen, remember to let those babies slide. <sighs> Mm, I love all of those noodles. <laughs> uh, oh, it even has a recipe. It says, let's make udon noodles. <gasps> oh, you need all-purpose flour, water, kosher salt, potato starch, or cornstarch for rolling and dusting. Do, do, do. That's what Japan looks like. Oh, so cool. Okay, but I don't want to look at the snack stuff because I want to be surprised. And like I said, I'm going to have to share some of the stuff with Mia. So, okay, these look freaking awesome. So they're like, like taco chips. Uh, 
it's literally a taco. I bet you these are going to be delicious. Okay, so I'm going to have to try these. I'm going to have to try those. <gasps> Sour gummies. <gasps> oh, and they're squishy. They're so squishy, squishy. Okay. Oh my gosh. These things are so loud. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, hold on. Let me just show you this box. fun do these things look so I'm definitely gonna be able to save some stuff for Mia what is this okay I have no idea what this is but it is adorable this little character is riding a unicycle it's kind of it's kind of hard but also feels delicate at the same time so <gasps> Oh my goodness, is that a little cat? And it goes, boom. <laughs> okay, so, there's three of whatever that is. However, oh my gosh, that one's so cute, this is so cute, it's fighting, it's a little fighter. <laughs> Which one would she like? Maybe the, I think the unicycle one. It's just too cute. So I'm going to save this for Mia. I will drop that off to her. We have funky little Kit Kats. A pink and a green Kit Kat. Okay, I will try the green one. I will give her the pink one. And, oh. Hi Chew! So, funny story about Hi Chews. Um, we, our dog, one of our dogs... His name is Chewy, and we call him Chew, like all the time. And when we saw these called Hi Chew, well, I always say to Chewy, Hi Chew. <laughs> so whenever I see Hi Chews, I always think Hi Chew. <laughs> um, now I don't know what flavor this is. Is that a is it a grape? Is it a grape? I'm assuming it's like a peeled grape. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, those look like grapes. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're gonna try those two. And then what is this? Candy flavored chewing candy. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. I'm gonna get rid of this box real quick. Brutal. Alright, let's what are we gonna start with? Okay, well, these little candy things are super fun, and I want to dig in, so. Oh, I dropped one. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Here's what it looks like. It's pink. It's tiny. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Is juicy. Tastes like like strawberries. It like melts. What does this remind me of? It's very gum like. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm missing something. Oh, okay. There's like a jam and sprinkles. Oh man, Mia's going to be so mad at me for not being able to give her some of this. Don't be mad. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, so in the container, it has like, it is really hard to show you. Okay, there. There's like two compartments. So I'm going to put the jam in one compartment. Okay. I'm just squeezing it. It's, you're not missing out on anything right now. Wait, squeeze out the jam. Okay. Okay. It's, it's. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's, look at this string. Oh my goodness. Okay. Holy cow, now there's like 
whatever this oh my gosh oh my goodness I need to wash my hands already this is crazy <laughs> sprinkles sprinkles okay I'm gonna dump those in the other compartment and I'll show you what this looks like now so there's this jam stuff here and sprinkles and whatever these delicious little candy nuggets are, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to call it a candy nugget. And it has, comes with a toothpick. So here's what I'm thinking I'm supposed to do. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to take the candy, dunk it in the jam. Somebody please tell me what this stuff is called. And then I'm going to dip it in the sprinkles. Oh my goodness. It is so freaking cute. Why is this not a thing in Canada? I could eat that all day. I mean, obviously, I shouldn't, but yum. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to save the rest of these to make a couple TikToks, maybe a reel or two. I don't know, but oh my gosh, those are so good. Okay, moving on. Let's find out what this thing is. This thing that's like hard but delicate. I'm assuming it's going to be a biscuit of some kind. Looks like a taquito. <laughs> Seriously, it looks like a taquito. Okay, I couldn't tell you what the flavor is, but I can taste a little bit of seaweed because I freaking love seaweed. I have it as a snack all of the time. Not all of the time, but sometimes I have sneeweed. Oh my gosh. You guys, what am I even doing with my life? Mm-hmm. It's very earthy. It's good. It's like a really, really weird chip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's check out these sours. Sour gummy. <laughs> okay. Oh, they smell funky though. I mean Red eyes. Oh, it's a turtle. He's a turtle. I don't understand what that flavor is. And what is this? Is that a water bottle? Is this some sort of turtle water that's supposed to be sour? Like, what is that? What is it? Okay, they're not bad. They're not great. The puller thingy. This is very can or very similar to the high chews you can get here. Oh, it's purple. Oh no. I don't have high hopes for this. Wah, wah. I 
if you like if you like grape you would love these I don't I'm not it's very grape okay swallow that get it out of the way um okay let's do the taco chips literally taco chips they look flavorful flavorful oh yeah you can taste the essence of like a hard shelled taco all of it all of it Like, I swear I'm even getting hints of, like, the sour cream. Yum. <laughs> Chipperoo. Okay. That's super cool. Last but not least, the green Kit Kat. <clears throat> Is it going to be a regular Kit Kat? No, it is not going to be a regular Kit Kat. It's freaking green. What? Is it maybe matcha flavored? I know that matcha stuff is green, usually. You know what? It kind of just tastes like white chocolate. A white, uh, like a white chocolate Kit Kat bar. Very good. Okay, so the two things I'm not going to try are this thick and the pink Kit Kat. And I will give the rest of these to Mia as well. My nephews can have those. Um, and then this one I will probably give to them as well because I'm pretty sure Beckett would like to try one. Maybe Malcolm too. Okay. That's it for today. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope that 2021 is treating you good. I hope that you are treating yourself good and know that there are people in this world who appreciate you and I am one of them. So thank you for watching. If you want to subscribe, go ahead, click that subscribe button. I have so many things I want to film. I, um, ooh, I have some face care stuff. I have some hair stuff. I have so many things. So go ahead watch another of my videos if you would like to. <laughs> it's always weird ending these things, but I'll end it here. And I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous day. Oh, also, if you are my friend Andrea's children, Jackson and Alexa, I want you to know that you guys are so awesome. And I'm so happy that you watch my videos. You guys make me laugh. And I'm glad that I make you laugh. So I will talk to you all in the next one.